I was at college doing performing arts. Um, bit similar. We had a theatre like this at my college. Um, and we used to do shows and things like that. And I was in the second year, so I would have been due to leave in the, 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 it was actually the year after, I would have had another year. And I probably would have ended up coming to a school, theatre school in London or training to be like a, a performing arts teacher or something, or just trying to do stuff. But I did always want to be a paramedic as well. So I probably, if nothing had happened music-wise, I would have went and been a paramedic. Not bright enough to be a doctor. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yes? To the, to the voice. It, it, do you mean to audition or to just sing on the show? Yeah. Sing on it. Um, yeah, I mean, I kind of feel like it got really badly slated in the press and I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't know about anybody else. Yeah. But um, it was great and I think it allowed a lot more artistic control. I don't know whether that was where maybe the public didn't get it um, because it wasn't so kind of polished and slick and the product was there. I don't know how, how that works. but. I would have performed on it. It was it was a good show and the set looked really cool. So, hmm? you are. I wasn't asked. No, um, because the way it all works for TV shows, I'm going to get boring on you now. You can't really go on a TV show unless you've got an album out. They won't have you on unless the album's ready to be out the next week. So, if I hadn't had an album out, maybe it's because it was run by Universal, so I probably would have gone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Favourite singer is um, Beyonce. Beyonce. She's my idol. Yes. Yeah? yeah. I'll tell you the story about how me and Jamie met each other. Um, years, about two, two years we worked like that. Yeah. Two years before X Factor, I took part in like a regional competition called Music Means Life. And um, Jamie was was a performer on the, he wasn't in, in the competition, he was one of the guest artists to perform on the show. And I met him then and we had a good chat. And I remember, I used to always go and listen to his music, I really enjoyed his music. Um, and then I went and did X Factor, and it wasn't until, fe was it February this year? Yeah. yeah, February we did this show called Sunday for Sammy in the North East, which was a big charity event again. And Jamie was one of the MDs on the show. And we got talking, um, went to an after party, and <laughs> I got very, very drunk. And we ended up busking in the hotel lobby for all the people at the after party. And apparently, I can't remember this, but apparently asked him to play the climb five times in a row. <laughs> We played it five times in a row, because I kept going, play the climb, it's like, we'll play that one. Play the climb. Um, but we, we did it, and then basically my manager, Angie, kind of set us to up, and we went into the studio. Um, it was really, it was just a chilled out day to try something. I took some lyrics in that I had worked on, and then we came up with a song, and here we are, it's on the album. So that was how we met each other. Yes. Yes, you. Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, I don't. Um, I still see myself as just Joe and nothing else. Um, but I think I've learned a lot in the past two years. Um, I had to grow up very, very quickly on that show. I went, I was the first time being away from home. I kind of had, you know, my me, me mum was on the end of the phone, but when you don't have that, that physical kind of support there that's just there to look after you, you've got to get a bit tough. Um, and I grew up really fast in, in the space of like three months. Um, and then with the first album, I kind of, you know, I experienced the whole kind of thing with Psycho and leaving them and part them. And I started to get a bit more gutsy about things. And I would say I'm just kind of a, a stronger version of what I was before I went on the show. Um, and I'm not as scared to take on a challenge now. Does <laughs> <laughs> What's the desert? Should I know what that is? <laughs> yeah, is it like what, what three songs would I have to play on a, on a desert island? <laughs> you what? <laughs> and what would I sing on it? 
Right, okay. <laughs> I don't listen to the radio a lot, but I do love BBC Radio 4. Very much. Right. What songs would I take on with this? Um, I think I'd like to take a bit of a modern twist. Would they have Crazy in Love on Beyonce? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe he's... Uh, maybe it's a Lady Annabelle track. I don't think they get enough enough recognition in, in the UK and I think they're incredible, right? Amazing lyrics. Um, definitely a Beyonce song. And are you allowed to take one of your own songs? i will take one of your own songs. Maybe it's off the new album. Uh, um, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. One more, okay. Are you planning any more small intimate gigs like this one? Yeah. Um, we'll have two planned. And if you are, Aylesbury? You what? Aylesbury? <laughs> <laughs> you won't know where um, that is. We're planning a tour at the minute. Um, but I really enjoy these kind of things. You know, a lot of these things happen with... Um, you do a lot of these kind of things with radio stations and it goes live on the radio. So I'm sure when the new album's out, we'll probably do a few of these. I did one in Newcastle, Smooth Radio, and that was quite cool. But um, yeah, I, I really enjoy them. I get really nervous about them though, because I, I kind of feel like I'm stripped. Um, there's, there's no... There's no... <laughs> There's no makeup on the track. There's no um, back and vocals and orchestras, anything like that. So stop being rude. <laughs> One more, okay? Yes. Right, more of a request than a question. Um, obviously, from Robbie, um, you know, he's got a lot of things. And it's just a request that you've got to get rude. And then you're going to get rude. Of course. Of course. Um, you know, it's, it's great. There's nothing. I love, 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 love traveling all over the country, going to see everybody, um, and and being being everywhere. But there's also nothing better as well than going home as well and, and doing work there. Um, and that, you know, I, I try and still live there as much as possible. It's not always possible. I do get there quite bad. I have been getting there quite a lot at the minute with us being recording. But come September time, I'll probably be living out of the suitcase for a long time. But um, yeah, I, I love where I come from, so don't worry, I won't forget it. <laughs> Okay, now this next song, it's it's a bit different actually to what 